Okay, welcome back to Chaos RC. All right, this morning I've got the Armour Big Rock 6S, the Team Corelli Kagama. So, whoop, in the Kagama, I've got a Hobby Wing Max 6, 1720 kV motor, running 6S, of course. That's all stock standard system in this. I do have the Vitavon front and rear chassis braces in there. I've got the ADU. Front tower and rear tower, 7075. Um, that's all, like I said, stock system. Got a fan on that, keep it nice and cool. Uh, we'll get these two out and uh, compare them both to, both to each other. Two of my favorite rigs right there. All right, let's get them out there. Okay, I'll start off with the Kagama first. When I put the Max 6 in this, it made a hell of a difference. I did have a Max 8 and it just was not, not performing. Already the dust is flying everywhere. Had some real dry days here. Easy, effortless backflips. Love this car, guys. That looks like a. Is that off mine? Thought that was off mine then. All right. Got to be careful. Don't lose battery straps. Get some launches off here, eh? Perfect car to get launches at oh, trees. Oh, shit. Trying not to go like full on full throttle for too long because those front wheels are just going ballistic. Don't want to pop them. Land? No. Right, quick runs. I won't. I won't keep you too long today. I do have a Tamiya Egress to go home and build, so I want to get start on that nice and early. All right, 
Love this rig. I'll get out the big rock. Just an absolute awesome rig. The best, best Team Corelli RC. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a Team Corelli and it's your first one, this is it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll get out the big rock. Give that a bash. Now, also, I did got my trusty um, jet fire fan from GT Power. I will, will be blowing all that off again. So this is this is another must-have that's always in my pocket. But uh, let me get the big rock out. Okay, the big rock 6S. I've got. Uh, Probably can see it at the front there of the car, but duct tape, I mean gorilla tape holding that together. Different driving beast to the Kagama, totally different. Love this car too guys. Whoa. Didn't give it quite enough stick. Just got done driving the Kagama and uh, forgot the power difference completely different handling a driving car save that one, jeez oh, did I pull it? Oh, I landed be a good test for the ADU uh, shock towers there. <laughs> Such a beast of a car. Definitely my favourite armour. I've said this before. The power delivery on this, I've got it all stock. Haven't changed anything. Oh, hit that log there. Got it on punch nine. It's so sensitive on the throttle. That's me just tapping the trigger and brake and going all crazy in the air. I don't know why people, some people didn't like the stock uh, system. I reckon it's uh, it's awesome. Plenty of power on tap. I mean, yeah, you could always add more, but this is stock pinion, stock everything. Ooh. <laughs> Such a good thrasher. Tears up and down this track like nothing. You really got to get used to driving with these tyres as well. Definitely a wild out of control animal. Just got it. <laughs> that damn tree. Okay, so nothing broke, which is a good thing. If something doesn't break here, then uh, I 
It looks to be all right. Is it? Is it good? Yep. <laughs> I really thought something would have broken then, but uh, that's a tough truck. Definitely a tough truck. Took some shitty hits then. We'll get a couple more jumps in when I leave it there. Alright. Alright, we'll leave it there. Oh, I, I don't know why I hit the brake. But that's what I do. All right, I'll get out the jet fan as well, so you can see that in uh, in action again. All right, so here it is, the jet fan. Oh, I'm off all the crack inside the wheels. Yeah, nice clean rig inside. Jet fan. All right, which did you guys prefer? Oh, the hang on, hang on. Look at the ADU towers. Still straight as hell. Yeah, everything's still sweet. Kagama or the or the Big Rock Success. I love them both. I reckon they're just both beasts. Thanks for watching.